Okay, same type of plane problem here. Um, and we're looking, how long does it take to complete one revolution? And so what should come to mind is that is our period. So that's what we're looking for there. Uh, quick free body diagram. And again, the plain front view of it. We have the FT and we have the FG. And there are the forces. We can point out that our resulting acceleration will be in that direction. Again, dotted, so we don't mix it up with our forces. And uh, let's see, I guess we can mark in here that this is 30 degrees. Okay, so uh, next step, F net equals MA. And um, the vector way of writing that out would be FT plus FG is equal to our M. A, and the only acceleration is our centripetal acceleration. And so if we were to approach this in a vector way, we would just say this is recognizing this as what it is, a vector addition. And so we could say FT, which is in that direction, referring back to our free body diagram. And we can say FT there. And then we have our FG down. And we know that we have to stop here because we know that our resultant, the MAC, has to go straight horizontal to the left, based on the way we drew it in here. So the left-hand side is our FT plus FG, tailed head, tailed head. And then the resultant from the very beginning to the very end is our MAC. All right. And so we're interested in the period here, which means that we want to be looking, involving AC in our equation. So I think what we can do here is recognizing that this is our five Newtons. Let's solve for the MAC. So MAC, just using trig, is FT sine 30. So it's opposite of our 30 degrees. All right, so rearranging, AC equals FT sine 30 over M. All right, and from there, um, we can uh, stop and say, well, our AC we know is, can be written as V squared over R, or the one we want, because we want to involve period here, 4 pi squared r over t squared, and that's equal to what we have on the right-hand side. So ft sine 30 all over m. Okay, so rearranging that, so show a little steps in your work, but t is equal to the square root of m4 pi squared r over F T sine 30. And you can plug in all your numbers with that and calculate it out 2.3 seconds. So this plane uh, would take 2.3 seconds to get around a full loop. Now, um, we're not going to do the full component method of this, but uh, just a quick mention that if we did do the component method, would it work? Oh, absolutely. No problem at all. Um, again, we're interested in the acceleration in order to get the period. So let's look at the x direction in this time. Um, F net equals MAC. And in the horizontal direction, it would be the F net is simply FT sine 30 equals M. And then AC could be replaced with the 4 pi squared R over T squared. Now, rearranging it from there, bringing the M over and canceling that out. And at this point, you can probably look there and say, ah, that's the exact same thing. So my t is going to end up being exactly the same and 2.3 seconds. So 
Could we have used components in order to solve that one? Absolutely, would have worked just fine. Um, kind of your choice. Um, I think that the vector addition works particularly uh, cleanly in a lot of the centripetal problem ones, um, just because it's quite often creates that 90 degrees, right? We have the FG uh, is, is always going to be vertical, and quite often in our um, centripetal acceleration once the acceleration itself is horizontal so we've kind of got a built-in 90 degree there makes the trig a little easier so um, anyways I know that a lot of people lean towards components in other sections uh, perhaps you want to play around with the uh, vector method of solving a little bit in here in that it does quite often work out quite nicely